Hello and welcome to Ganesh Institute channel. So far we have discussed that how we can solve a homogeneous linear differential equation, partial differential equation, if it is equal to zero. But what if something is given to you instead of zero? Then you have to use particular integral, add into complementary factor and you will get your complete solution. So how you can find out particular integrals? So today we are going to discuss about the particular integral case if exponential function is given to you in right hand side. Okay, let's begin. Let's say if in right hand side something in the form of exponential is given to you then the particular integral formula will be 1 upon your, um, your equation, auxiliary equation but you need to put you need to put a in place of d and b in place of d dash, alright? So let's begin how we can do it. Here, you know what r, r, s, n, t. So this is, uh, you know, r is partial different, double partial differentiation of your function with respect to x. s is double partial differentiation with respect to x and y. And this is double partial differentiation with respect to y. Right? So, your symbolic representation, symbolic equation will be in the form of d square for d d dash, where d dash is dz by dy, del z by del y, and del z by del x is your capital D, plus 4 d dash square, and this is a function of z. Alright. Now next part is. As similar as we did in last video. Auxiliary equation. Put m in place of d. So. And put 1 in place of d dash. So 4. This is your auxiliary equation. Put it as 0. And find out the value of m. You can see this is m minus 2 whole square. So your m will be, so your roots are real and equal, that's correct. So for real and equal roots complementary factor is f1, y plus m1x plus x f2, y plus m2x. If it would have three zeros, then it will be, it would be x squared f3 y plus that. Okay. Um, now... This, this is all you know so far, right? Now it's time to find out about particular integral, correct? So for particular integral, the formula is 1 by your symbolic equation, right? Into your right hand side which is given to you. Now put d as a. What is a here? coefficient of x and b coefficient of y. So what you need to do? You need to put a as d and b as d dash. So let's try to do it. 2 square is 4 minus 4 times 2 is 8 plus 4. So 4 minus 8 plus 4 it will be 0 right? So whenever you will have any function where denominator will be 0, what you need to do, multiply it with x, okay, and in denominator, what you need to do, you have to take partial differentiation with respect to x of this form. So, what is the partial differentiation here? This is in the form of, you know, the d, d is partial differentiation with respect to x and d dash is partial differentiation with respect to y, right? So, you are doing with respect to x only. So, it will be 2d, right? Let me do it uh, here. x into e raised to power 2x plus y partial differentiation so 2d minus d dash is in term of y, right? So, it is constant and for d it will be 1 and d dash is 
the partial differentiation with respect to y, so it is 0 because you are in, uh, differentiating it with respect to x. Now, again apply the same formula. Here a is 2, b is 1. If you apply here, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 4 times 1 is 4. So 4 minus 4 is 0. Again you are getting 0, right? So again multiply with x and in denominator, take partial differentiation with respect to x. Okay. So let me do it here. Multiply with x. So x into x is x square. And again differentiate with respect to x partially. So it is it is 2. And this is with respect to y because it is partial differentiation with respect to y. So taking the partial differentiation with respect to x, it will be 0, right? So you will get this as your particular integral. So your complete solution will be, your complete solution will be your complementary factor plus your particular integral, which is half x square e raised to power 2x plus y. Okay? I hope you understand how we can calculate the exponential functions. So, so far we have discussed exponential function. We will discuss later what other type of functions we can have in these type of questions. Rest of the topic we will discuss in our next class. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Take care. Bye.